race for president. The attention next week turns to the Democrats and their convention in Chicago. That starts on Monday. But today, Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris and President Biden appearing together in an event announcing a deal with drug companies to lower costs of 10 of the most popular drugs used by Medicare recipients. Meanwhile, Republican nominee Donald Trump just finished a news Thank conference you very much. at Thank his you. golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey, nice on a day you. when the Secret Service says there will be bulletproof glass at future nice Trump rallies. I'm going to news reporter Lauren Glassberg is live there for us tonight. Lauren. Right, Bill, no bulletproof glass at this event. This was really the former president up close and personal with the press, with a number of supporters off to the side. He's actually speaking with the supporters right now. This is his turf. This is his country club. This is friendly territory for him. And he took the podium at about 439 today, saying he had a lot of time to talk and talk. He did for about 50 minutes straight. And then he went into questions from the press for about 25 minutes. When he spoke, he did not use a teleprompter. He came armed with a lot of data and a lot of promises, including he said that he would make America affordable again. He would lower housing costs by using federal land for housing. He would stop migrants from coming in. He would restore peace throughout the world, and he would lower food costs on day one if elected president again. And he had the props on either side of him, grocery items that have gone up in price during the Biden administration. And he says with Kamala Harris as president, it would be more of the same. Baby formula is up 30 percent, flour is up 38 percent, and eggs are up 46 percent, and many items are up at much higher rates than that. Now Kamala is reportedly proposing communist price controls. She wants price controls. And if they worked, I'd go along with it, too, but they don't work. They actually have the exact opposite impact and effect. There. Yes, and Donald Trump did go after Harris, personally calling her not competent and not smart, saying she broke the border and broke the economy. And he did take questions, as I said, for about 25 minutes. And that is a counterpoint to what his opponent is not doing. He has noted that she has not been taking questions from the press, just a very few questions from the press. And he is showing that he is very competent. He can speak spontaneously and he can answer any question that comes at him. That is something else that he is campaigning on. Live in Bedminster, Lauren Glassberg, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Lauren, thank you for that today. Meanwhile, President Biden and Vice President Harris holding their first joint appearance since he left the 2024 race four weeks ago this Sunday. The pair walked out to cheers in Maryland, unified and ready to talk about how their administration helped lower costs for Americans. But before getting down to business, the longtime allies showered each other with praise. And of course, I could speak all afternoon about the person that I am standing on this stage with. Folks. I have an incredible partner, the progress we've made. She's going to make one hell of a president. Harris expected to unveil her economic policies tomorrow in North Carolina. Advisors say her plans are different, but not dramatically so from Mr. Biden's. Meanwhile, the Democratic National Convention begins on Monday, as you know, and the first debate between former President Trump and Vice President Harris will be September 10th, right here on ABC. We invite you to stay with Eyewitness News and ABC News for continuing coverage leading up to Election Day, November the 5th.